And every now and then he might, you know, do a little cough or say, oh, I just want to redo that line. And you kind of forget he's there. And you're like, oh my God, David's in the room. Uh, hi, I'm Conor McDonnell. I'm a entertainment and wildlife photographer. Um, I'm also a WWF ambassador, and I'm here to talk about a few of my images today. So this image is a photo of the one and only Sir David Attenborough. He's a hero of mine. I've had the pleasure of working with him a number of times over the last few years, which has been unreal. This was whilst he was doing the voiceover for the Frozen Worlds episode of Our Planet. It's pretty surreal being there in the same room as him as he's recording a voiceover because he's such a professional that he barely ever gets anything wrong. Actually, whilst he's recording the audio for the episodes, there's actually a big screen in front of him with the episode on and he's basically narrating in real time. And you kind of just forget he's there doing it because it's just it's literally just like watching an actual episode and then every now and then you might hear a cough and you're like oh David's in the room with us here I just love this image it's a it's a scene that you don't really get to see of Sir David very often and yeah it's a very special moment anytime I get to photograph Sir David it's always an honor you know he's my hero one of my heroes he's a lot of I'm sure a lot of people watching this video is hero no matter how many times I've photographed David over the years it still isn't worn off on me that I'm photographing an absolute living legend. Believe it or not, he's not the biggest fan of having his photo taken. After a little bit of, you know, you warm him up a little bit and get him used to being around you. You know, he's a professional through and through, so every time I get to work with him, it's absolutely amazing. So this photo is of three polar bears. This is one of my favorite shots I've taken in nature, actually. It was taken during an expedition I did a couple of years ago in 2017 and we were attempting to sail to as close to the North Pole as possible in a non-icebreaker. We actually got further north than anyone had ever been in a non-icebreaker before because of the sea ice retreat that year. Woke up early one morning, which you actually can't tell it's morning because it's 24 hours daylight uh, during the summer, which is when we went. So it was about seven o'clock, but it felt like midday. And I spotted some polar bear tracks in one of the ice, on one of the ice floes next to us. And they looked very, very fresh. We followed tracks for about 20 minutes and they sort of popped up out of nowhere. This was pretty much the first moment when we spotted them. We kept our distance, we went as close as it looks in the photo. Had a little look at us and then carried on about the day. But yeah, it was an amazing experience. As you can see, it's, it looks very otherworldly. We're surrounded by ice and water. Even being that close to the North Pole, um, still saw the impacts of humans on our planet. Normally, all of that would be ice, but you can see there's quite a lot of open water around. Where that image is taken, normally you would be able to walk from there to the North Pole pretty much, but that year wasn't possible. You know, a few days after seeing these polar bears, we stumbled across a lot of single-use plastics, styrofoam just dotted around the ice floes, picked them up off the ice. There's an image I actually shot during this expedition of a piece of polystyrene found on top of an ice floe. That image ended up in the US Senate on a debate about climate change and plastic pollution in the Arctic. And it was the first time I realized that sort of my images can have an impact on the world and, you know, help create a better world for us and for nature. So this image is a photo I took on a safari in Botswana. Again, this is one of my favorite images I've taken. It's a nice silhouette shot. To get this shot was a bit tricky because it actually was a lot darker than what you see in the image. Not to go too technical, but it was taken with a slow shutter speed. When you shoot with a slow shutter speed, you've got to hope that there's not as much movement. And luckily this elephant was just munching away on some grass or whatever it was it was eating. I actually couldn't tell because it was that dark. Well, we actually heard them first. We couldn't see them. There was an opening behind the elephants. You can see the tree line. And and there was a nice opening where it sort of had a, a nice silhouette. The reason I didn't get out of the car was because it was dark and you don't know what's around in these places. There could be anything lurking about, so safe in the car. But um, I was hung outside of the vehicle I was in with my arms very low to the ground to try and get a nice perspective up. And with the slow shutter, I got a nice bit of the sunset. There is actually a planet or two in there. I think one of them was Venus and the other might be Mars, but I'm don't quote me on that. Yeah, I love this shot. It's just, a, I just find it a really beautiful shot. I've always loved photographing nature and being in nature. It's something that has, you know, been very special to me and, and important to me throughout my whole life. To be asked to become an ambassador is very, very special to me. I've been a lifelong supporter of WWF to work alongside them and to use my images for the better of the planet with them as, you know, it means, means an awful lot. If I had one piece of advice for other photographers that want to try and help create change in the world, I mean, I don't know if it's advice, but I'd just say just go for it. Just pick up your camera, shoot, and, and see what happens. Like I said, I never ever thought, you know, my work would end up changing policies and in the US Senate or, you know, getting to work with, you know, absolute heroes like Sir David Attenborough, but 
somehow it's happened. And if it can happen to me, it can happen for anyone. So yeah, just pick up your camera, go shoot, and just see what happens.